everyone and welcome back to the Be Luscious Cosmetics YouTube channel. <clears throat> Today I'm doing a sort of autumn fall inspired look using the new shadow quad, the signature, signature shadow quad in Nouveau Riche. Uh, it's this beautiful mix of brown, gold and dark green. Just hiding the mirror there so it doesn't glare at you. So I'm actually using all four shades today and I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way of doing this. So we're going to start off with the Shadow Magnet in Light. If I can find where I put my brush. There it is. It's just a pale cream. comes in a diff couple of different shades. I might just get one of my hair stuck to it. It's quite sticky. So you only need a small amount, and I use a large paddle-shaped synthetic brush to apply it all over my lid, all the way up to the brow bone, because we want the highlight to stick to it as well. Very thin layer, because it's very creamy and sticky, so you don't need much at all. So we're just going to start off with this, this uh, orangey gold shade here, and we're going to put that all over the lid, with a flat eyeshadow brush. I believe someone has just texted me. I'll have a look in a bit. You can see that the eyeshadow is sticking fast to the powder, the shadow magnet even. See all the trees are starting to turn here now and it looks amazing. So they're not all quite going yet, so we've still got a bit of the green. And you just sort of blend out the edge. Oh, we've lost a hair of the brush. So you haven't got a harsh line. Like so. Then we're just going to use a sort of blending crease brush. And we're going to pick up some of this chocolatey brown colour. And then that's just going to go in the outer edge. I'm going to work down and across and up a little way. And you just build that up slowly. Because it's quite a rich colour. If anyone has any requests for tutorials using any Be Luscious products, then just leave a message on the channel. You can send a direct message to us, private message to us, and we'll do our absolute best. Right, so now I'm just going to use a wide flat brush and pick up this pale gold shade, and that's going to be our highlight. We we'll start at the top, under the brow bone, and work down, sweep backwards and forwards to blend. I could probably do with a touch more of that dark brown on the edge. There we are. Then, I am going to take an eyeliner, and this is the powder liner in Forest. It is a rich dark green, and I'm just going to draw on my lower lash line all the way from the outer edge inwards. Sorry, I just knocked an eyelash into my eye. Which is a little bit sore, I must admit, when you do that. And then also on the waterline. And then I'm going to take, uh, this is sort of a blending smoky eye brush, very short bristles, and we're going to take this deep green, sort of evergreen green, and then just smudge, this is awkward while trying to stay in the camera, some of that into the green eyeliner. Then for the top liner we're going to take one of the new liquid liner shades <coughs> in cognac which is a beautiful, rich, coppery brown. And it has a little fine brush. I'm just going to rest my little finger on my cheekbone and apply that to the top lash line. There 
I've just over applied it at the edge. Just the tick cotton bud while it's still wet and take off the excess. I'm not an expert at liquid liner, I must admit. I love the colour of this, but I must admit to finding gel liner so much easier to handle. Right, we're just going to curl our lashes. And apply some black mascara. Perhaps some gold and brown mascara would look really nice as well. But I currently only have black available. And that was just the volumising mascara. For blusher, I'm just going to take the Fall 2009 palette and I'm going to use this pink shade with a touch of the brown. and apply that with a really fluffy brush because these are really pigmented blushes so we can end up with a little bit too much I find the colours on this camera are quite saturated so it probably looks like I've put too much blush on but I think we're pretty much okay. I'm just going to buff this side in. If you find you put too much blusher on, just use a clean face brush and buff. Now I don't think that was too much, but I hadn't got it quite blended properly. So we're just going to finish off with some lip gloss, and this is the Liquid Luster in Pink, pink Champagne. And there we are, there's our sort of autumn, fall inspired look. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions or comments, then just let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye.